Welcome to On The Beat, everyone. Well, I'm over here with Dr. Griffin from Griffin Centre for Cosmetic Surgery. And today, guess what? We're talking about autoplasty. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. Okay, I think this is one of the most important conversations to have because a lot of people think, Dr. Griffin, cosmetic surgery is for people who are vain. Correct? That's what most people and think, it's indeed. Not. And we're no. talking about autoplasty, and let's discuss it in kids. For everyone at home, let's dumb it down. What is autoplasty to begin with? Autoplasty is a description of ear surgery that's corrective in nature. Yes. And uh, the thing that we see the most, or the procedure that we do most for this, is children with big ears. Yeah. They suffer a great deal of ridicule because of this. At what age would one start considering autoplasty? Well, you, the ear is almost completely formed by oh. the age of seven. Okay. So you can do this quite early. And in regard to your comment about the ridicule, parents tend to be the last ones to know. They'll say, it doesn't bother my child. Well, it does. Your yeah. child is not telling you because they do not want to disappoint their parent. Yeah, and it's, it's just something that I think it's a great conversation to have. You were saying that you could the ears stop growing at about seven, correct? Right. All right, so around about eight, nine is a good time to maybe bring them in and have a consultation? Five or six is a good time to start really? the talk. And then by age six or seven, All right. you can do the surgery. Okay, well, let's bring up our first image, Will. Now, we're looking at the back of one of your patients and the back of her ears. What am I looking at? What you're observing there is a condition that we call conchal hyperplasia. And that is the cartilage in the ear has overgrown and pushed this portion, which is called the, the helical realm, outward okay. so it's too much cartilage in the bulb of the ear all right so let's bring up the, fr the other picture which is face on and it doesn't look as severe as what it does from the back right it, it from the from the back side you can see that whole yeah. conchal Chunky. bulb whereas from the front it's still quite large yeah. but not quite as obvious Okay, so what type of procedure did you do on her? Look, look at the after uh, picture. What, 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 I, what I did for her was um, a procedure where we, all the incisions are made from behind the ear. Yes. And we go in and take out a, a large part of the cartilage and then reposition the ear closer to the skull. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the surgery. How long sure. would it normally be taking? It takes about an hour per That's side. It. Wow, but Botox two hours. and injectables take longer than that sometimes. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about the downtime because I have been told um, autoplasty can be a little bit of pain afterwards. They wear a uh, head wrap yes. for three days and there's some sutures we call bolster sutures mm -hmm. that stay in for two weeks. Right. Okay, that's it. Yes. But what about ongoing care? Is there a lot of protection? Uh, no damage down the road no. if you're playing sports no. or really? Not, not any increased risk. Dr. Griffin, I do want to talk very quickly about the Griffin Foundation. What is it for people out there? Well, I've seen over the years such a traumatic uh, impact mm. that this has had on children. I've seen children for other reasons and their parents just not could afford the yeah. procedure. So I've started a foundation. It's early in the uh, formation, but uh, we're going to do to years for underprivileged children. It. You're amazing. You're going to come back and talk more? Sure, we I'd love to. We appreciate it. We appreciate Thank it. You. If you want to find Thank out you. more about autoplasty or this amazing man, all the Griffith Foundation, there's all the information up on your screen right now. Griffin Center for Cosmetic Surgery is the place to go when you need that little bit of a confidence boost, or maybe your kids do too.